Thank you, thank you very much for coming. Welcome to Live On Bond. My name is Simon Taylor, and it's October, so spring racing is in full swing. Ah, horse racing, the sport of kings, as opposed to greyhound racing, the sport of bad fathers. So that's... <laughs> But I, I'm enjoying horse racing uh, this year because a, th a few things have changed with technology. It's 2014, so they actually don't need a photo finish anymore because all the horses are taking selfies at the end. So it kind of, <laughs> kind of works. And they use an iPhone 6 because it suits the shape of their, their horseshoe. So that kind of works. Hello? Yeah, the joke worked. Thanks. Yeah, cash you did. But gambling, gambling is a big part of Australia because when I was in primary school, we actually did a Melbourne Cup sweep. So as a kid, I'm being taught to gamble. It's, a, it's affected me because I saw a uh, sign the other day that said, Gambler's Helpline. Two in three people make a full recovery. And I just thought, I like those odds. <laughs> I'm going to bet on that. Yeah, why not? Good odds. <laughs> but there are, there are sad parts of the, uh, the spring racing, aren't there? Like every now and again, you see one of those beautiful, majestic creatures get injured and have to be put down. And it's really sad, especially when it's on a tram and she's wearing a nice dress. Like, it is <laughs> painful to see. Because that's what it's about as well. Spring fashion. Spring fashion is wonderful, right? You're having a heart attack, sir. You really, you've seen it happen before. It's, uh, spring fashion is, is wonderful. Women get very excited about wearing floral dresses. Men get very excited about wearing pants. It's a big occasion, the races. But uh, the... the uh, the, the best bit for me, I guess, is I like seeing women with the fascinators. Uh, if, you see, if you don't know what a fascinator is, it's when women spend $500 to get uh, feathers in their hair so they can watch horses run around in a circle on TV screens while they're squatting in a car park. <laughs> it's generally... Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're squatting... Oh, man. It's, no, it's true. It's the, it, like we... we we think it's fancy. We think it's all fancy because of the, the races and we're wearing fancy clothes. But there's port loos everywhere. It is so disgusting. I wouldn't be surprised if, if someone eventually made a video called Two Girls, One Melbourne Cup. It is a gross... <laughs> My parents are here. They didn't get that joke. And I am relieved. <laughs> But well, my favourite part, I reckon my favourite part of the, uh, the spring racing has to be the commentator's voice. I love that voice. I don't think the commentator should comment on the horses, though. I think the commentator should comment on people going to the races. Much more enjoyable. And they're off and out of bed and they're already into the champagne. They're having champagne at 9am, but it's okay because they're putting strawberries in it. You put strawberries in it, it's a nutritious breakfast. Now they're getting ready and they're putting on their dresses. The men are putting on their ties and their jackets and board shorts because once a bogan, always a bogan. Now they're getting on the tram. Oh, they look all fancy, but they can smell each other's armpits. They're at the races now and they can't get in the main entrance. So they have to go round the outside, round the outside. They're getting stuck into the bar now. They're having spirits. They're having beers. They're having spirits. They're having beers. They're having beers. They're having spirits. Oh, one too many Jaeger bombs and they're walking home in their own vomit. It's a photo finish and that one's going on Facebook. 